Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Now I mentioned in a previous video that I'm planning on building a more permanent forge setup as opposed to the pile of fire bricks I have right now. While I'm working on that, I've decided to build some of the smaller DIY forges that I've seen on YouTube. So today, we're going to be building this soup can forge. A huge shout out to Nighthawk in Light. This was made using his video tutorial. You can check out the link in the description. You know, it's a really nice video. It's a pretty detailed build and I really like the way this works. The way it's set up. There are some things that I think I might change on the next one. But overall I think this is a great mini forge. Especially for smaller things like arrowheads. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's a list of the materials and tools I'm using for this build. Once you have the tools and a torch, it doesn't cost much to build multiple forges. Now that I have all my tools and materials, I'll start by assembling the forge stand. The base of the stand is a 5.5 inch length of 2x6 lumber. I place the two 4 inch L brackets 2 inches apart and then attach them to the base with four 1 inch wood screws. Now that the base is finished, I bring the soup can up to the brackets and mark where the holes are. Holding the can in place, I figure out where the port for the torch will go so that the torch will angle slightly into the forge body and mark 1 and 3 eighths inches away from the bottom of the can. I then draw out the mounting holes with a quarter inch bit and the port with a 3 fourths inch spade bit. If you can get one, a hole saw or a spiral bit would leave a much cleaner hole than the spade bit. Now that the holes are drilled, I screw the threaded end of the half inch pipe nipple into the port and make sure it's angled the way I want it. I also secure the soup can to the stand with two quarter inch bolts. The refractory in this forge is a mix of plaster of Paris and play sand. After I mix equal parts of sand to plaster, I add just enough water to get a clay like consistency. I then fill the forge about three-fourths of the way and then use a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with the end sealed off to create the inner chamber. The back of the chamber should be flush with the torch port. Once everything's done, I make sure the port is clear and then clean up the outside of the forge and make it look nice while the plaster has time to set. Now that the plaster mix is set, I'm going to run the forge for the first time to drive out moisture and to fully cure the refractory lining. After a while, the inside of the forge will start to glow orange and it will start to retain heat. Once that happens, I know that the forge is ready to use. I'd like to give another shout out to Nighthawk and Light for the awesome tutorial on how to build this forge. And I've got some ideas on how I can modify for the next one. So I'm going to test this out and you guys will probably see it in a couple more videos. If there are any videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this project, I've got lots of videos on my channel. And I've also written several books on different topics. And you can check the links to those in the description below. So thanks for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.